Buenos dias! Welcome to Daily Devotion! Woo! Uh, sorry about that. I shouldn't have done that. Regret has filled my mind. Maybe I should record this again. Or not. Today we're in Jeremiah, and we're actually going to be spending most of our time in chapter 31. Towards verse, let's see, it's going to be verses 31 through 34. So, if uh, if you can, let's go ahead, and if you haven't read it, pause the video, come back. Let's talk about it uh, when you're done. So, for those of you who have already, you've already read it, you're a good person, you knew what was coming, go ahead and uh, let's keep watching this thing. So, hey, how are you? I got a couple things that I want to talk to you about. Number one, if you're new to this, maybe this is the second video you've seen or something, and you, if you could do us a favor and subscribe and click the little bell so that you can follow when we have new videos. Also, if you'd be willing to help us, we're, our goal is to grow as many people into maturity as possible. We want to see uh, mature disciples of Jesus. And so part of that is involved here with the Devo that comes out every day, except for on Sunday and Wednesday when you can come hear the, the teachings live. Um, also, uh, let's see, if, if you can, be praying for us. There's a lot going on. My wife and I are about to have a baby pretty soon, so if you could just be praying for us, that would be super duper great. Also, be praying for Redeeming Life Fellowship as uh, we've got some big stuff coming. So, uh, hopefully... Uh, you know, you can join us in person. Anyway, let's jump in. Sorry, the, the film footage is weird. I left my thing that holds my phone in my mom's car because our van broke down and we borrowed hers. So uh, I, I lost it. So here we go. Um, how many of you guys have studied much of what is considered the New Covenant before? Uh, what does the word covenant mean? If you could, in the comment section, type out what, what do you think the definition of co covenant is? And what does it mean? What does it mean to you? Uh, what is something that, uh, is a covenant that we use in modern day contexts? I want to hear your responses. I want to see those things. Thank you for those of you who are participating. It's nice to, to see you all. Uh, David, Bethan, uh, Mom, we know you guys are there. Thank you guys so much. So, um, I want to, to take a moment to just jump in here. So here we go. Uh, look, the days are coming, and this is the Lord's declaration, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. This one will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand and led them out of the, the land of Egypt. My covenant that they broke, even though I am their master. The Lord's declaration. Instead, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days. So, if you got a pen and a paper, maybe a, a notepad or something, maybe in your Bible you want to take notes, uh, let's put this stuff down. Number one, I will put my teaching within them. I will put my teaching within them. Number two... And write it on their hearts. The teacher will, the teaching will be inside and on their hearts. And I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will one teach his neighbor or his brother saying, know the Lord, for they will all know me from the least to the greatest of them. This is the Lord's declaration. For I will forgive their iniquity and never again remember their sin. So if, if you're, Taking notes, I want you in big, r bold letters write IMPORTANT. I maybe it's IMPORTANT. IMPORTANT. This is super important. That the, the New Covenant, one of the biggest, most beautiful parts about the whole thing is that our sin, our iniquity, our transgressions will be forgiven. Never again remembered by their sin. Um, today I actually had to do something very hard. I had, uh, I had to write out, um, some issues, um, uh, for a place I used to work. And, um, 
you know, a lot of us keep things like bitterness. We, we think about them over and over and over again. Um, you know, and instead of dealing with them and forgiving them and moving on, what we do is we hold on to it. And so there were a lot of things that I had never brought up and I felt like I was supposed to. So I wrote it all down and uh, I gave it to them, you know, to, to do with. But then I deleted it uh, as a sign and a symbol that I'm going to be the kind of person that I don't want to keep a record of wrong. Um, that it's done, it's over with, I, I forgive them, I've moved on, and they can do with it as they will, uh, but, you know, even if that means nothing, that's okay, right? Like, if, if they never come and apologize, that's that's totally fine. Uh, if they never go to the people that they wronged, you know, that's, that's I forgive them. Uh, you know, they'll still have to deal with God, but, you know, He'll be far more just than I ever will. Uh, so he also goes on to say, I will be their God and they will be my people. So a lot of people think that the covenant we're in right now with Jesus, that this is fully here. Uh, and I think that some of that is true. A lot of times you see in prophetic literature where like one line has happened and another line has not. And I think that this is one of those cases where you see things that are current, right? Like the new covenant has begun where his word and his teaching is on our hearts. It's in us. But yet at the same time, we also see some of this uh, is going to still be fulfilled. Like that knowing, uh, that, that, that knowing the Lord, for they will all know me from the least to the greatest of them. Uh, I do think that this is referring to when Jesus comes back for the second coming. So I think that this is part now. Jesus gives us the Holy Spirit. We know him in that way. But then we also are going to know him fully later on. And so uh, I just want to encourage you guys with this, that we have a new covenant to look forward to, that it is going to be on our hearts and it is on our hearts. And that when you surrender your life to Jesus, you can know the Lord. This is actually an amazing and remarkable thing about our God. No, no other God on the planet can claim this, that we can really know them uh, or him. In our case, it's him, uh, that we can know the Lord. Uh, a lot of people in a lot of religions uh, this is the part that is super weird because their God is distant. Their God is uh, unable to be known. And so for us, we can know Jesus. He can live in our hearts according to Ephesians. And and so we can, sorry about the cicadas, um, but we can know him and that is super duper beautiful. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow live. Please don't hesitate to leave more things in the comment section. Hopefully uh, you've been enjoying these videos. If not, why are you here? <laughs> All right, let's 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 pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this word. We thank you for the new covenant. Lord, we also know that this covenant isn't fully fulfilled, uh, but that, it, that it, is, it is in part. And so, Lord, we thank you for what is. We are excited about what's to come. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scout.